Welcome to Lecture 3 of Leadership Series. My name is Amir Asif. I am your instructor. In this lecture, we are going to learn about leadership qualities. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video with relevant people. You can follow my social media accounts and you are welcome to share your feedback. Here are the most important leadership qualities and skills to become a good leader. Please share in the comment section who is a good leader for you and why. We are going to study 11 qualities in a leader. First, one is communication. Second, one is integrity. Third, one is accountability. Fourth, one is empathy. Fifth, one is humility. Sixth, one is resilience. Seventh, one is vision. Eighth, one is influence. Ninth, one is positivity. Tenth, one is delegation. Eleventh, one confidence. In next slides we will discuss these qualities in detail. If you're in a leadership role, good communication skills are absolutely crucial. Using language to perform one-to-one -one communication is really all that we have as human beings. I have five tips for you. Communicate relentlessly. Simplify and be direct. Listen and encourage input. Illustrate through stories. Affirm with actions. Speaking in a good way or be a good speaker is important for a good leader but not sufficient. You are also supposed to be a good listener and you must be able to communicate the information in a good way. Maybe you are not a great speaker but if you share information in a clear and precise way, it will make a difference. Instead of talking for half an hour, sometimes five precise minutes are enough. Integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is looking at you. A good leader should have a good level of integrity. It's like when you follow traffic signals after midnight and no one is keeping an eye on you. For accountability, an effective leader needs to follow the advice of Arnold Glazo when he said, A good leader takes little more than his share of the blame and little less than his share of the credit. A good leader makes new leaders. He not only tells people what to do he makes them think and do things. Similarly, when something is going bad he takes the blame instead of putting it on his team members and when things are going great he shares the credit with his team members, encourages, and appreciates them. A true leader has enough open-mindedness to understand their followers' motivations, hopes, dreams, and problems so that they can forge a deep personal connection with them. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. A good leader should understand the feelings of his team and accordingly he should be able to solve their issues. For example, if some of your team members has physical challenges you need to consider them while making plans. Please think what your empathy level as a leader is, humility. Being humble is also one of leadership quality, think about yourself how humble you are as a leader and how can you improve this quality. The true grit of a leader is not how they perform during good times, but how they roll up their sleeves and produce when times get difficult. You should have capacity to stay strong and calm during tough and difficult situations. I would like to quote a Mastoni Indian cricketer during his captaincy he was always calm and strong in tough and difficult situation and that really helps to change the situation. If you are not strong enough to handle this situation then you are gonna make things bad. Think about how resilient you are to pressure situations. Jack Welch said, Good business leaders create a vision, articulate the vision, passionately own the vision, and relentlessly drive at the completion. Also, vision is an art of seeing something that is invisible to others. If you go back to 1947, Jinnah had a vision for a separate state for Muslims and later even people started feeling that, he made great efforts to complete his vision into a reality. Similarly, Nelson Mandela's vision was a free world based on equality and human rights, he fought for the rights of slaves, his struggle was following to his vision, and later he achieved what he was looking for. You gather people, you make plans and strategies, you do random things sometimes, and sometimes you show flexibility, change things, but your eyes are always on your vision that is your target. Some leaders believe that when they attain a certain level of leadership status, respect will automatically be given to them. This is not the case. Leadership and influence are not interchangeable and respect has to be earned, not given. 
leaders inspire their team not based on their own goals or outcomes, but on their exhibited behavior, life outlook, and attitude in any given situation. With negative attributes you can't keep being a good leader, please share your opinion in the comment box. Think how positive you are as a leader. A difficult transition for many leaders is shifting from doing to leading. Many new leaders are accustomed to doing all the work themselves and struggle to let others handle responsibilities on their own. Great leaders must elevate their team, they must be more essential and less involved. A leader makes good leaders. They urge people to do things. Take steps, move forward. That thing is lagging in our society you will see good leaders in different organizations but you will rarely see if they make new leaders, it's because they do everything by themselves sometimes to keep the control, that is not the quality of a good leader. To be an effective leader, you need to roll up your sleeves and take charge. This includes being confident enough to lead, knowing that your plans and vision are not only viable for the team but the absolute best decision possible. Also. You should have firm belief in yourself and on your vision. Think about it, how confident you are as a leader, by now, we have talked about 11 leadership qualities. Further, we have teamwork, motivation, competence, and responsibility. Your motivation level is always important to achieve your vision and goals also to inspire others. In addition, you should be skilled and competent with respect to your position and role. Being a leader's responsibility is very crucial, you cannot be an irresponsible person and a good leader at the same time. You know there are always some skills you can build with practice and hard work and responsibility is one of them, further, we will talk about Encouragement, recognition, inspiration, clear goals. You should encourage your team at your best that will help to attain best results. You also need to recognize your team members for the great things they have been doing instead of taking credit on your name. You need to inspire your fellows and team and that would be possible through having a clear goal, by doing good communication, also you should be responsible, and accountable. I must say all the leadership qualities we have discussed here are important to inspire others, think about how you see yourself as a leader. Think which of these qualities you have already and which you need to build. Please share your feedback in the comment section, subscribe my channel, and share this video with someone who is looking to learn online. Thank you for watching it.